We're going to go ahead and start by clicking Create New. And just like our other projects, we are going to change the frame rate to 12. So as it comes up, we'll go down here. My frame rate is already 12. If yours says something else, just change it. And then we'll click Create. And now what we're going to do is move up your window. If you need to fit yours in the window, you can do that. You can also shrink it by going to 75. So that's a feature just to make sure you see all your edges. And now I'm going to go over here to a new tool. And this is my shape tool. So I can click letter R on my keyboard to get to the rectangle. And what I'm going to do is click and drag. I'm going to just go ahead and make a rectangle over my entire screen. Now, right now it's blue. If I click on my frame right here, it's selected. You can tell there's these little gray dots over it. I can go over here and I can change it to any other color. But today what I want to show you is something called the gradient. So if I click down here in the corner, you see I have a radial gradient. Radial means it's in a circle. So there's black around the edge and blue in the middle. I'm going to go all the way over here to this palette up here. And when you click the palette, now I've got this um, whole area where I can select what kind of gradient. So I'm going to click on linear gradient, and you can see it looks like lines. It's blue on one side and black on the other. And now I can go down here to this timeline, and I can actually double click on each of these colors and change them. So let's say I wanted a green, and then I wanted it to fade to blue. So you can pick whatever colors you want. And the other thing that you can do is change the way it looks. So if I go onto my tools over here and I'm going to click my paint bucket, I can do that also as a shortcut by clicking letter K on my keyboard. If I click the paint bucket, I can click and drag a line and you can see it's changing the way my gradient looks. So you can make your gradient like up and down or kind of side to side. I could start up to down. Okay. And what we're going to do today is learn how we can fade these colors and change them. All right, so once you get your gradient how you like it, I'm going to go back up to my frames and we know that we have 12 frames per second. So I'm going to go ahead and click on frame number 12 over here, which is one second's worth of work. And I want to keep this same frame. So I'm going to do function, which is the FN key, function F6. And what it does is it just creates a space and it keeps what I had. Now I'm going to go back to my palette and I want to change it. All right, so let's get some different colors. What happens if I change it? Maybe I'll make it fade to a light blue instead. All right, so let's try that. And I'm going to go back to my paint bucket, and I'm going to change it, actually, so it goes up to down instead. All right, and so now what I've got, if I click on my frames, the first one looks like this, and the second one looks like this. I want to make one fade into the other. So I'm going to click in between. All right, and this technique is called tweening because we click in between. And now I'm going to go up to the top where it says insert shape tween. And you can see there's an arrow here. And when I go to the beginning and I change it, I'm going to press return to play. And it fades. You see how that happens. Okay, it fades into each other. All right, now I want to try this technique again. So now I'm going to go to frame 24. We're kind of counting by 12s. And I'm going to press function F6. And now I want to change it again. All right, and this time what I'm going to do is completely change it. So I'm going to make it red here. I'm going to change the green. Let's make it purple. And what I want you to try is clicking in the middle, and you can add another color. So maybe I'm going to add a light blue in there. And again, you can go to your paint bucket, and let's kind of play with how it looks, kind of get a nice fade. And then again, I click in between, and I go to insert, create shape tween. Let's see how that looks. It should change. And you see I changed the direction of the line here, right? Before it was side to side, and now I changed it so it's diagonal. So it actually like looks like a line when it moves. All right, so let's keep going here. So again, um, I'm going to skip all the way to frame 36, function F6. And I'm actually going to keep the same colors, but I'm going to do a different kind of gradient. Let's see what happens if I change it that way. If I click on the between, insert, shape tween. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. I think this line's going to move. There it goes. So it kind of turns, and I kind of like that look. I'm going to keep going with that. I'm going to go to frame 48, function F6. And again, let's keep the same colors, but maybe we move them around a little bit. We'll kind of create that, that whole turn there. And I can play with how close together my line goes to, or I could have it like fade. I can experiment with that. So click in between, insert, 
shape queen. Let's see how it looks now all together. All right, so we're kind of creating these cool visual effects where it moves. And now what I want you to try is let's see if we can make the movement a little slower. So maybe I'm going to skip more frames. Instead of doing it for one second, let's make it for two. I'm going to go all the way to frame 70 here. And we'll do function F6. And let's try it again. Um, this time, let's uh, change it around to here. And if I go to click in the middle, insert, shape tween, um, my movement should now be slower. Let's see how it goes because I made it go for more time. So now it goes back the other way. All right, and we're going to keep experimenting. So I'm clicking to frame 82 here. Again, function F6. This time, let's totally change it, okay? So another thing that I could do is change to the radial gradient. So radial is like a circle. Let's see what happens there. If I click here in the middle and I say insert shape tween, let's see what happens when I go from linear to circle. So now it goes around. Okay, so that was not super gradual, right? Linear to circle. Okay, let's see what happens if I change the circle. So I'm going to skip. Let's go to uh, frame 94 here, function F6. And now I want to play with the circle. Um, so if I go here, I can change where the circle goes. The positioning of the circle. So I'll click in between, insert, shape between. Let's see what happens there. So the circle gets bigger, okay? Uh, skip some frames, function F6. And let's see what happens when I change the color. So if I click here, maybe instead I'm gonna make it yellow. And I'm gonna change my purple, something else, maybe a green. And the red, maybe a yellow. I don't really like those colors, they're kinda ugly. Get something a little bit more interesting here. So you can kinda play with them inside. Get some colors that look a little more interesting together. All right, let's see what happens. So click in between, insert, shape tween. You kind of get the idea, right? So let's see how that looks. So the colors can fade, and I'm just going to keep going, right? So I want you to go ahead and explore these different techniques. Okay, what happens if you change the position? What happens if you change the color? What happens if you change the type of gradient? So let's create another shape tween. There it goes. It kind of changes, right? Maybe I'm going to skip more frames, function F6, to like create a wider effect. And see what kinds of interesting effects that you can create. So that comes back there. Function F6. And so really get to know the color palette. What happens if I add even more colors? Let's see what happens. Insert shape tween, press return. Yeah, so now I'm adding a lot more colors. I can make it look like the circle is getting smaller, right? So keep experimenting and have fun. And our goal is to get 300 frames of the movement. So as you keep going right now, I'm at frame 162. And you can see it kind of makes that effect like they're changing, right? So we'll keep experimenting with that, have fun, and when you're done, we're going to do file export video as we did before, and then we will save and turn it in. There it goes, shape tween. They're moving.